it's not just more fuel. Absolutely. Getting the programming right for sequential, mm -hmm. there's just less room for error compared to a basic batch setup. Okay. Now, the big question for a lot of our listeners, performance. When we're pushing engines hard, how do these two methods, batch and sequential, really stack up? Yeah, this is where it gets uh, really interesting and maybe a bit counterintuitive for some folks. How so? Think about how much time you have to actually inject the fuel needed as your engine speed, your RPM, climbs. Everything happens faster. Right. The window of time for each combustion cycle gets shorter and shorter mm. for both systems. Okay. But here's the thing. A batch fire system, theoretically, it could be spraying fuel almost any time during the engine's full 720-degree cycle. Because it's not tied to one specific valve event. Exactly. Now, compare that to a true sequential system. Hmm. Strictly speaking, its injection window is limited to the time the intake valves actually open. Let's try and quantify that. Say you have a performance cam, maybe, what, 220 degrees of intake duration? Something like that. Yeah, a fairly common performance duration. In that case... A strictly sequential system might only have about, hmm, let's see, roughly 61% of the total cycle time to inject fuel compared to what batch could use. Wow. Okay, 61%. That's, le that's a lot less time. Yeah. Does that mean you might need bigger injectors for sequential to get the same amount of fuel in at high RPM? 